Well, the, the challenge came from customers. We went to existing customers and said, what can we do better? One thing that came back was reduce the floor space, but don't compromise on the size of components or the, the rigidity or capability of the machine. And this is the outcome. So in this episode of the uh, Hecat Compact Movies, Lee, we're talking about um, actually how compact this machine is and why that's important. So firstly, tell us about the size of this machine and its working envelope. Well, this, this machine, Paul, is, is uh, it's about 16 metres and it's um, about 40% less floor space than its predecessor to manufacture the equivalent size components. So it really is a compact size machine. Now it's important to reiterate at this point that this particular machine, uh, the one we see here is a five axis twin pallet machine. Does, does this apply in terms of the footprint size compared to predecessors across the range? Are they all smaller? They are. So there's a range of different sizes of machines and they're all proportionally smaller. Whether it's a four axis, a H or, or, or a five axis X machine within the range, they're the same footprint per pallet size. Um, what other advantages are there other than just the size? I mean, what about the services to the machine? Well, this, this, this is where the designers went to town and, and um, they took the fundamental machine design as in the structure and the capability and, and, and kept that. But everything around the machine, the enclosure, the services, the way that the machine's constructed, the hydraulics, the electrics, the swarf system, everything's been made more compact. It's been designed so it fits around the machine better. Very neat and tidy. And does it make it any easier to install? Because I'm guessing it may. Well, it is easy to install. It's a single lift machine. So we can install it very easily and very quickly and we can squeeze it into corners in factories. But we can also put the machines close together. I mean, two of these machines next to each other now very similar size to a single twin spindle machine, whereas before we were a much bigger footprint. And part of this uh, series, Lee, is to talk about how competitive these machines are, the fact that they're affordable, affordable to all companies. Is that really um, not just one point, the affordability, but now the size as well, really does give you those opportunities in those small to medium sized engineering businesses? Well, it does, and our business was always predominantly built around OEMs. We've always sold to a few small subcontractors, but we've always been seen to be out of reach. So this gives a very high performance, very high accuracy, very compact machine that subcontractors now know that they can buy.